Oh no! Oh, this turtle! Die! Die! Die, you miserable fool! Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. This is TBT here, and uh, today I'm following up on my uh, on my bid to tame a Serato. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of uh, grinding off camera. I've been uh, getting enough for three of these babies. What are these babies? Let's let's find out. Let's do this. These are hemoglobin cocktails, uh, and what they do is they make this guy, this uh, this level 145 Serato, angry at my stego. Why do I want that? Uh, you'll see. You can see there we got 4% drunk. Okay, can you calm, can you like chill a little bit? Um, let's see, is this thing still... Yes, I, I will admit that I tried to tame this and I tried to record it before and it, uh, it didn't work out. Uh, almost lost the stego, but, uh, we did not manage to, manage to avoid that. Now, my real goal is I want to try and get those babies that are there. But in order to do that, we've got to get the adult first. Um, if you remember the end of the last episode of the RG, uh, with the RG tame, I managed to steal one of the babies, and then that ended up really working. I don't know why the babies are running away right now, but they are. Hopefully they will come back. That would uh, make me very sad if they didn't. Um... I also had to confirm if you can tame these things the exact same way as you can normally, and the answer is yes, yes you can. Um, you can see right now I've actually taken the liberty to level up um, the Ultra Baronator quite a bit, uh, and the way we've done that is we have, oh, we got, another, we got a baby right over there. Oh, he's coming, he's coming over. Look at him. He's like a little, like a little spiky chicken. Come on, come meet with mom. Please don't push me in the water. I do, I do not want to. No! I don't want to swim! Curse you! I'm going back to shore. There we go. This is a gorgeous Serato. By the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, give me a solid and hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. All that juicy goodness really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. It gives the, uh, the algorithm gods their just do so that they may spread this video all around the internet and thus uh, help grow my channel. And all that just makes me happy, and it's, uh, it's, it's really good to see things kind of taking off around here a little bit. But, uh, yeah, back to the matter at hand. Uh, if you've seen my Idiot's Guide to the Ceratosaurus, I, I go over this in much greater detail. Um, long story short, um, you gotta make hemoglobin cocktails so you have to kill Ceratos, which is what I've been doing. Um, and once you've done that, you then have to make a hemoglobin cocktail, feed them, or uh, feed a creature like this Stego, the hemoglobin cocktail, and then you can uh, go right ahead and uh, just let this thing attack you until that meter fills up to 100%. Oh, God, you me. These raptors. We're gonna do this. We got the blood drunk on him. Now I need to get rid of this raptor. Okay, we've done that. We've gotten rid of the raptor. Now I'm going to take some prime meat. And we're going to go try and get this tame done. Now, it's important so that my creature doesn't get left behind that we take care to do this. So, like I said, I tried to start this before and I couldn't do it, but thankfully... It's the game is nice enough that it lets you save your progress. What? I don't want fiber. Let me feed the thing. Oh, really? I only get 5% for a prime? Okay, then we're going to do this one prime at a time. 
And yes, I did just rhyme. Prime and rhyming. See, the other time I was really unprepared and tried using raw meat. That was a mistake. <laughs> that was a terrible mistake. Yeah, the other time I was not prepared, but it doesn't drain your progress. So that just makes life so much better with this. Uh, I think Garuga is the one who made this mod originally in Ark Survival Evolved. And he's like, Garuga is a hard but fair god. What? Oh. Thanks, kids. I really like being stuck on you like that. That just that just feels great. I lo I love them. They're they're adorable. I'm gonna try to tame them as soon as I get the parent tamed up. Well, we don't really tame them. You imprint on them, so I'll have to be quick and I'll have to catch them. But uh, actually, I should try and get rid of some of this. I'm st we're back in the grass, and um, that might be a problem. But we'll see. Now, there is a time limit to how long this thing will stay blood drunk, so hopefully we can get this thing tamed up before it runs out. If not, I'll have to go farm all over again and then come back. What? Why is it dropping? Okay. Okay. Okay, so it just continuously drops always. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, what the what's going on with that? That's really irritating. Does that mean you can't do it without the kibble? Oh, that's so stupid. I don't like that. I really don't like that. That's, that's dumb. Wait until it's hungry again. Well, why is it like losing taming, uh, taming bar? Welcome, oh, sorry about that. Welcome back to the Paul screen. All right, so I need to go over a couple things. Now, with any luck, we can keep up this, uh, this guy. It looks like it because his taming is, is not dropping any fur, is it? Uh, damn. Okay, it's dropped back down to zero. So let's try this. Get out of the... No, I'm not going in the water. Uh, okay, maybe I am going in the water. Dang it. Uh. Okay, so same drill as before. We're just gonna let this happen. This is incredibly, incredibly frustrating, I must say. Now, I, hopefully this thing won't stay bugged. It's, it's tame just dropped back down to zero. So with any luck, it will not it will just reset and be fine. But I can't be sure. Again, if not, then we're gonna just have to kill it. And uh, that'll be that. Now, a couple things. I did spawn in some prime meat. I also spawned in um, another hemoglobin cocktail and some... Um, and I also reset uh, Baronator's health. And let me tell you why. When something like this happens, where the creature's tame is, is bugged like this, then I consider it unfair and a waste of time and resources. And I feel that I am entitled to those resources back. Now, I have rules on that, where I only will do that um, once. So in this situation, I'm doing it because I, I feel that I have resolved, I can resolve the problem. If I can't, then we're going to move on. So I just want to say that now and, and going forward. Um, I've never needed to use that rule since I started recording, and I, I thankfully very rarely have to. But it is there, and it does exist. And it's, uh, it's worth noting. Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that this is a bug, and it is not actually the, uh, the, uh, like, the fact that I hit the Serato before. I don't think it's that. And the reason- No! 
Screw you, turtle! Screw you, man! The reason why I don't think it's that is that the taming effectiveness was just... Not the effectiveness, but like the taming percentage was just dropping. It was just, like, without limit, it was just dropping. It wasn't stopping at all, and I, I, I'm a little afraid it's going to do that again because it did eventually drop to zero. Hopefully not. Hopefully it will not do that. Hopefully we can get on with our day. Can you get over here and bite me, please? Thank you. Oh my god, this freaking turtle. Go away, turtle. He really likes you. Thank you. I'm a little bit annoyed at- Oh, come on! That's BS. Get out of here. Now I gotta fight the- Now I gotta fight the fairy. Son of a- Oh my god. Ah, I'm stuck. The fairy's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, the fairy's dead. Okay, so that's good. Ow. Okay, we're gonna use this again. Freaking turtle, man! And this thing is gonna be a constant pain in the neck. So, so I do apologize if you have issues with people spawning things in, uh, but I'm, I'm going to, I, like I said, I explained why, and it's like the game screwed me, and I went, I'm not okay with that. And I know that there are some people who, who are against that, that would say, you know, you shouldn't do that, and even when the game screws you, and yeah, I can understand, and I, I respect the integrity, um, but here you, is it dropping? Can't tell. No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Unfortunately, I'm almost out of food. That's not good. Well, we got berries. But okay. Okay, so I think we've solved this problem. So reloading the game was the answer. So now we can do it right. And this is the reason why I'm okay with doing this when this happens. Because now we've got it working. Now I'm legitimately using those resources. I'm not wasting time and energy on it. And quite frankly, I could probably just skip the entire opening to this episode, but I'm not going to do that. Because, you know, this is part of the process. Sometimes the game bugs out or the creature bugs out, and it is what it is. And I'd rather catch that. It's like, this is something that can happen. And here's what you do when it does. You just reset the game, and if you're against spawning things in, that's fine. I like no, no, no harm, no foul on that front. Least of all for me. Oh no! Oh, this turtle! Die! Die! Die, you miserable fool! Get out of my way, kids. <laughs> okay. Now I'm feeling a little bit better. Oh, Hopefully we should be able to get this done before the blood drunk runs out. If not, we got a big problem because I don't have another hemoglobin. And no, I will not be spawning anymore because of that. And it's like, that's a case of, you know, you didn't have enough and you weren't ready and, uh, and hashtag deal with it. So it's like, I will also never respawn more than what I actually have. So, like, to me, that is not fair, that is not legit, we don't do that. Okay, we're at 40, we're almost at 40%, we might just be able to do this. Now, the thing is, as soon as this thing tames, these guys are going to bolt. So, I'm going to have to be on it. Now, hopefully I can catch one or two of them, but, you know, we'll see. 
that. Ah, we can keep that one there. Actually, put it back. We're going to do this one at a time. Because I want to save these pieces of prime. You really should use kibble for this. Like, this really should be done with exceptional kibble or extraordinary or what have you. That's what this, yeah, that's what this needs to be done with normally. I'm doing it now because I don't have a kibble farm and I don't really have the means to make one just yet. Uh, we're going to start working towards that in the coming episodes when I finally move shop fully. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Get that done. Come get our next piece. We should be good. Yes, we will. We'll be fine. Six more feeds. I'm annoyed that it, like, reset itself completely, and I'm, I'm still not sure we'll be able to do this. I'm sure I'm still not sure we can make this happen, and if we can't, that's unfortunate. Hopefully we will, because we've already gotten it to about halfway, although the feed does seem to be taking a little bit longer than I would like it to. And if this thing aggros, then we're, uh, we're gonna have to fight it off, and like I said, we'll kill it. Or we will try to. I don't know how much health it's got, although... I think we can hand. Oh, no. Now, you can use a trap, and part of the reason why you may want to do that is because of that. Yeah, that little guy there, he might be a problem. It, especially if, you know, the thing keeps walking towards it. But we're going to take the one that's almost dead. No, we won't. We'll take this one. Now, if this, if I, if the prime all spoils before we're finished, then we got another big problem. I'm gonna have to use regular meat. Oh, jerk. All right. Now we'll be ready to go. Don't you walk in the water. I wish you'd get hungry a little sooner. This is freaking me out, man. I really, really want to do this tame. This would be a fantastic tame. It's like, I'm definitely doing it earlier than I should be. I should be waiting a little bit more, and I should be set up with a proper farm and all that. Uh, and it's just like, I'm, I'm a little bit overeager. I understand that. But I'm trying it anyway. Honestly, if I had mutton, this would be this would be easy as well. Like, this would already be done. Okay. Okay. So it's like, I am a little stressed because I really want this to happen. And if it, but again, if it doesn't, that is okay. That is fine. Oh boy. Actually, I'm not confident in my ability to kill it. So basically, I might lose Ultra Baronator because there's no way he's outrunning this. Yeah, that HP. That's, that's the one thing I did not reset. Actually, yes, I did. What am I talking about? But because of the uh, intervention of the wild creatures, I took more damage this time. So, that's the problem there. Now, if worse comes to worse, and this thing is like 90% in aggros, and I manage to escape with my Stego, then I'm just going to come back with another cre- Then I'm going to come back when it's healed, and we're going to try this again. Because it'll- it, it's, it should still save. Okay. We're at 70% now. Okay. Oh, boy. We're getting there. Actually, what I should be doing is waiting until it's, it's actually hungry again and then and then grabbing the meat from the stego. That's what I need to be doing. Yeah, so we're going to hold on to this. Wait till it's hungry. Eh, 
Actually, we'll grab it now. And I will say, this is kind of a painful, kind of a painful tame. For a variety of reasons, but not the least of which being the game bugging like that. Come on. Get hungry. Lady, lady, we don't have all day. We, we literally... Oh. There we go. Now the last one. Hopefully. Like I said, if, if, if we screw it up now, I'll come back and we'll try it again. And uh, hopefully we'll be more prepared and we'll get it done. Like, this is not a big deal. Like, at this point, we're at 91.1%. So one more feed will, will solve this. It's just a matter of, of keeping on it. Oh my god. A little framey at the moment. Got it. Nice. Got one of them. Oh, there's the other one. Oh! 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 That feels amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Woo! We did it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna go get this drop. Woo, boy. We got him. <laughs> I wasn't sure about that one, let me tell you. Oh man, that was that was dicey. I thought for sure it was gonna I thought for sure you were gonna lose it on the last one and we'd be like back at square one. Oh but now instead of having to kill one to get the others, I got to show off yeah, we got we got to tame we got to tame the whole family. It's some good family fun, yeah, yeah. Now there is one small problem. I don't have a saddle. <laughs> uh where's the other baby? Uh oh. That's not good. Oh no, it's right there. It's just, I'm dumb. Okay, you have eaten all of your food. Okay. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Y'all are gonna wait here. I'm gonna run to base. And I will be back uh, as soon as I can. And hopefully I'll bring y'all some food. I'm not gonna bring uh, Ultra Baronator with me because it's gonna take way too long. All right. Oh, another, another, like, another just heart-pounding moment here on Ark Survival Ascended. Man. Oh, that could have gone so badly. You're really supposed to use Kibble for that. Like, you are really meant to use kibble. That is that is supposed to be a kibble tame. But you can do it without it, and I'm glad you can. Um, if I recall correctly, there are some creatures in our conditions where that, you have to use kibble. Like, it won't let you just give them normal stuff. But I could, no. It's not our conditions, it's something else. Oh my, hey! Give me that! My death token! Oh, man. So I'm a little surprised that that actually went, that worked. I, oh, come on. Go bug someone else, you stupid dilos. I remember they were just not even a thing 
to worry about in the uh, in our survival evolved once you got past like level 20 in this they're actually annoying oh this is where I would say I need a break but uh, no no we're gonna fight on what hey buddy Uh-oh. Oh my god! Oh, wait, what? Well, I died. Well, if ever there was a way to get back home nice and simple, that would be it. Ah, stupid raptor. <laughs> Like I said, never a dull moment. All right, uh, I'm gonna le I'm gonna ignore my stuff for the moment. Actually, hold up, what level is that raptor? Well, it's about to be dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. Broke all my stuff too. We love to see it. Well, almost all of it. Uh. What was that raptor, actually? I, mean, I do want to check. I mean, he's going to be dead, but... 55. What level's the baby? Also 55. Okay. So, I... I what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to go give these guys their food. I'm going to get them home. Uh, and then from there, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to cut away. We'll make the saddle at least one. Actually, only one. And uh, we'll go from there. I, I wanted to get this tame out of the way. Maybe what I'll do, maybe what I'll actually do is I'll go try and find an Anki or something. Um, in addition to that, because an Anki would be very useful. Uh, I mean, obviously, I need a metal tame. Um, whoa! What the hell is going on? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Ooh, did we lose a baby? We might have lost one. Yes, we did. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Got there right in time. I mean, right in time, like, badly. <laughs> Dang, that's unfortunate. At least we saved the one with the mutation on it. And what stat, though? Hmm. I think it has a mutation, does it? Yeah, it does. It has one mutation on its uh, father's side. Alright, let's look at this one, then. Although, the thing is, you get the different, they get different stat, at, stat uh, attributes, so it's not quite the same. Looks like I think so. Um... Also, also, god damn, that this one has 40 melee. That is very good. Okay, we, we got ourselves, uh, that was well worth the price of admission on that one. Let me tell you. Okay, can I rebut? Yes, I can. I'm uh, too low on hide, but not anymore. I'm just gonna start repairing all this. So I need more fiber. That's unfortunate that we lost one of the one of the kids, but it's alright. We'll manage. And this one's a male. Perfect. Ugh. Okay, you need food, too. How are you doing? Oh! Yeah, they're already- they're already munching through all the meat, so... I have to do what we can. 
This might be one of those where I have to sit by and raise them for a while. Okay, so maybe we're not doing anything until I take care of that. Yeah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at the way the food's draw. Oh, uh, like... Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, I also need to change the, um... Care settings there. Ugh. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, I just tried to change the maturation settings. I did turn them up, so in the future this won't be a problem, but it is gonna be for now. Because as usual with our, uh, with our survival evolved, um, once you turn- if you turn them up, it does not affect the babies that have already, like, done their thing, you know? So it's like you still have to wait out the full timer on all that, so that's just lovely. Well, you know, it is what it is. It's just part of the game. Just gotta, gotta, gotta learn to deal with it. It's unfortunate, but... Oh, we got more raptors over there. Ah. Okay, there we go. We got all my armor repaired. Well. Alright, cool. We're, we're all suited up again. Let's bring the... Okay, let's bring this thing home and uh, let's get it uh, something in. I brought it back first because it's just going to be the easiest thing to, to do because I can pick it up and carry it. Uh, I'm going to need to kill this beaver. Actually, hold up. What level is this beaver before I do something incredibly stupid? Wow. Look at all that meat I didn't get. <laughs> yeah, I will go get the baby in a bit, but for now we gotta deal with the... Uh to deal with the actual process of finding food. But yes, we did save the one with the mutation, so that's good. Oh, it's also, it's food's high enough that I'm not sure I'd have to worry about it dying anymore either, but... Oh, I apologize for that. This episode's been a little bit chaotic, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of interruptions, just a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff happening. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I'm gonna go get the rest of them and bring them home. Hopefully, um... Hmm. Hopefully this one will be fine. Actually, I should probably put more food on this note in my trike. Yep, see, my trike is completely out of food. There we go. It's funny how this Triceratops that I raised for my baby is actually stronger than a than OG Baronator, but... Yeah, see how fast this thing is eating all this food? Yeah, I'm gonna run, actually. Yeah. Also, look at this tail. That's like a fat-tailed gecko. That is amazing. I love it.
So, uh, I've semi made a discovery. I actually known about this for a little bit, but I've not shown it off. Yeah, you notice how my torch is just hanging on my like shirt hem there, not setting anything on fire, just causing a literal fire crotch to happen. Yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. I just think that's kind of funny. I don't. Is there any like? Is that a thing? Is that like actually a thing? Did people actually do that? Do they still do that today? I I don't know, but uh, that's interesting. All right, anyway, let's get this show on the road here. I finally made this. Ooh, ooh, saddle looks different. At least I think so. Give me meat! Wah! Okay, we're not getting meat. Um, where's the other one? Where's the kid? So, uh, I go over this in more detail in my Idiot's Guide to the Ceratosaurus, but, uh, for the sake of simplicity, um, you can run, and it, like a, like a rhino, you'll build up that running speed. And then if I do this, um, uh, if I do it right anyway, it'll do more damage, but I have to skid to a stop. So basically what I'd have to do is I'd have to get a run going and I have to get over, I think it's like 50% or something. Maybe it's like 75. And after a certain point, you'll start to run into objects. Yeah, there you go. There's the attack. And it'll do a lot of extra damage with that. Now, this thing has a couple of different attacks. It has a bite. And that bite will, will kind of go wherever your camera's moving. So, like, very, very, very dangerous creature. You can't really get around its flanks as easily. It's got a horn attack. Right click. It's got a C attack. Uh, I'm sorry, not a C attack. It's got a roar of control. Uh, and it does have a tail swipe. How do I do the tail swipe? And it is a terrible swimmer. <laughs> I'm gonna take this thing for a ride, kill some stuff, get some more meat. Um... It also has that, that bleed debuff that it puts on it, and when other uh, carnivores are near you, it'll proc that and actually, uh, it'll actually heal other carnivores. It's a really cool creature. Like, honestly, this thing is really amazing. Okay, how do I do the tail swipe? I, I should know this. Actually, I think the tail swipe is just this. Okay, tail swipe is right click. Okay, you gotta, but it's right click if you're facing the opposite direction of your camera. Alright, I think we have ourselves a good way to end this video here. We're gonna go ahead and take out this, uh, this level 50 theory. I may regret this decision greatly, but, uh, you know, maybe not. And I love that it's still got the chonky tail. I don't know if Ceratosaurus had a thick tail like this in real life. I know it certainly didn't have the spikes on its back like that. It did, however, have the three horns on its head for which it derives its name, Ceratosaurus, Horned Lizard. Uh, yeah, those characteristic three horns. It also probably wasn't venomous, and by probably it almost assuredly wasn't. <laughs> in this game it is, and that venom causes more bleeding and such. Again, I go into way more detail in that video, uh, and I'll, I'll post a, uh, I'll put it in the end, end segment, like there, it'll be, the video will be there, and, uh, it'll be right around for everybody to enjoy, and hopefully ever, we can all learn something about this amazing creature, and it is an amazing creature. Oh, I missed. Yeah, that's on my hit, but I didn't do a lot of damage. See that? That bleed proc? When that happens, creatures around you will get healed. Wow. 
fairies are normally no are normally no joke, and we tore that guy apart. <laughs> I love that level up animation. Those little like, like just starts moving his arms like. Ooh. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, that's incredible. And then my run is foiled by my uh, inability to swim very well. I actually kind of like, if you look at these, if you've ever seen, like, the 1993 Godzilla movie, was it? Uh, which, in which the kaiju should actually be called Zilla, not Godzilla. Uh, these spines remind me of that. And while that wasn't a very good movie, and it was an even worse Godzilla movie, the design was really cool. Like, I gotta hand it to him. Like, the design isn't Godzilla, but it does look cool. Anyway, I think... We've done quite enough for this episode. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, do me a solid. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, let the algorithm gods have their due sacrifice so they will take it and spread it across YouTube and uh, thus help support the channel, which is always fantastic and it really helps me out and I love it. And I greatly appreciate it. As I greatly appreciate all of you. At any rate... This has been TBT, I'm signing out, and I will catch you lovely people on the next exciting episode of Ark Survival Ascended.